everyone and welcome to a new episode and yes from now it's gonna be normal episodes from now but I might say that was epic although I have to wait like two or three days to actually continue with the story but now we can continue with the story and to be honest I have the feeling this is like the last battle to say or maybe there's still a little bit of story so let's continue as soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. Here they come. Steal yourselves. Look at us, ready to fight. Truth of life and death. Reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Rules are made to be broken. Too late to repeat. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to! Hey, Mr. Silvermane. Listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders. Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it! Huh? Uh, Serval, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me.
fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Urelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. Hmm. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off site assistance. You don't say. How ironic to be if you pull for even of them. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Velabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. <sighs> this place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually and cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Be careful. Think twice before you interact with anything in the Fragmentum. This is... Branyas! Right. She must be. This can't be a coincidence. It isn't them. It must be... a kind of echo? Some type of residual energy replicated by the Fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way! <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. haven't told me what this place is, Mother. 700 years ago, this was Velabog's northern border, and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main Guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Branya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Uh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... The crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But 
the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. When the promise is fulfilled, Bronya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. No. Wow, I, I bet she's not gonna survive this uh, agency. This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Ah, uh, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Uh, wait, wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However... There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Huh! Even Don hung this- it worked, right? Whoops. But the gate didn't move an inch. <sighs> Are there other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. Look, over there! I think I can see the next unit! Oh, I see it too. Let's go. Fighting is meaningless. This is our chance. Tough luck. I've no interest in conflict. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Monsters guarding the energy hub? It seems like it. Hmm. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man made objects. Mechanism. Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart. We ha found the Drake family.
Wait, well, this one, adult too. But I gonna find you later. This will strengthen our position. This is our chance. Don't guarantee future ones. One more to go. Success! Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you a question. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia, and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. One thing I kind of want to comment after I play a little that after the whole task season, there's no more trial characters. Like, and there are some bugs that you actually have needed the set characters. Like, when you actually separate from Dan and March, you team up with Branya and Cillian. That could hurt Walker's uh, team up. Oh, did I? Yeah. Uh, is this right? <sighs> if you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Done! It took some effort, but we finally cracked these mechanisms. We're one step closer to Branya. Let's move! Yes. The Fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. 
It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. And all of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Bronya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. Wow, she sounds crazy. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. But, Klipoth, the Preservation, are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? The Preservation. Has the Preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the Architects. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. Whoa, check this place out. Tables and sentry posts? There must have been Silvermane guards stationed here once. If there were, they left a long time ago. Huh. There might be valuable information here. Uh, shame we don't have time to look for it. Hello, new boss fight. Looks like another completely new monster. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. This will strengthen our position. Rules are made to be broken. Just a scratch. Gotta try hard some. Watch this awesome move. For your sins. The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant, the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. This is our chance. <laughs> time for a shot. Nap time. No interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. Naughty child. <laughs> the redemption. You're annoying. Prayers won't help you. Fighting is meaningless. I've lost my way. This enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the fragmentum, I'd think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level fragmentum creations, 
This one seems to have a mind of its own. It seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look, Branya and Kokolia's echoes. They must have come through here. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. Looks good. This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of... temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron, and made the first wish. As for what came later... You know as well as I. So... The Eternal Freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? <laughs> Ironic, no? All the Stellaron did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Even going so far as to attempt to use it... To control the Stellaron. Who is she? Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. She's going crazy. It? Well, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> oh, I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. 